Hello, this is Eric Colburn from ericcolburn.com, and in this AutoCAD Civil 3D for Land Surveyors video, I will show you how to paste surfaces. Let's switch the model space. And I have two surfaces in this drawing, and the first one you can see uh, is the biggest surface, uh, which has gray contour lines and a irregular greenish surface border. And I've called that existing conditions. And then I have a second surface, which is this squarish, very bright colored surface in the middle of the screen, and I've called that volcano. So you say to yourself, why did you, why did you call it volcano? Well, I always wanted to create a volcano, so I did. So let's take a look at this sort of three-dimensional. Again, you can see the two surfaces there when I look at it with a side view. Let's switch from 2D wireframe visual style to a conceptual visual style and you can see that this lower flatter surface is the existing condition surface and this cone shaped mountain I've created is the volcano surface so I've essentially <laughs> made my own little volcano you can see inside the volcano there so those are the two surfaces we'll be working with. All right, so let's go back to 2D wireframe and a top view. And so wh why do we want to paste a surface? Well, there, there are several reasons you might want to do this. I think very commonly what happens in a, in a project is that the surveyors go out and they collect the data for the uh, original existing conditions, and that gets uh, mapped and a surface gets created. And then sometime later in the process, you design a site, a pad, or a, a subdivision design, and you end up with a design surface. So at some point, you might need to meld those two surfaces into one. Uh, the other thing that is very common is at the end of the project, you go out and over a limited portion of what was originally mapped, you do an as-built survey. And to get the final surface, you want to combine those areas from the existing conditions that never changed with the new as-built survey somewhere in the middle. So that very common application where you might need to do this. As a special need, I and what prompted me to make this video was I needed to, to use two disparate surfaces where one and I needed to meld them together, but one really was only suitable to show a 10-foot contour interval, and which was from some general mapping. And then I had to meld that with a specific survey mapping in a smaller area, actually two smaller areas that were separated, but within a smaller area that would have two-foot contours. So if you're a premium member on my site, in the next few days, I'll have uh, some videos and a new blog post out, premium blog post out, that shows you how to uh, start with this technique to be able to do that so that you can basically display two surfaces, but where one surface might only have the 10-foot contour interval showing, and the other surface will have the 10-foot and the 2-foot contour interval showing, or major and minor intervals, and yet have it all uh, meld together perfectly. So this is really step one, but in of itself you'll, you'll get a lot of use out of knowing how to paste surfaces. So the first thing is you need to paste the smaller surface into the bigger surface. I'm not sure that it will work the other way around. I, I'll try that, but I, I'm never having done that. I'm, I'm pretty sure that you have to go from pasting the smaller surface into the bigger surface, which is what we'll be doing here. And then I'll show you two ways of doing this, uh, one through the uh, tool space and go to the prospector tab and within the surfaces themselves, and the second way will be using the ribbon. Now I'm using AutoCAD Civil 3D 2013. Uh, if you are using an older release that doesn't have the ribbon, obviously that won't apply to you, but uh, I believe this should work for all past versions of AutoCAD first method at least for all past versions of AutoCAD Civil 3D. So first thing I want to do is go to the surface that is going to be pasted into. So in this case we'll be pasting Volcano into existing conditions. So again in the tool space 
under the prospector tab you can uh, navigate down to surfaces expand that and then you can expand the surface that you'll be pasting into which is in this case called existing conditions and then you'll see that there's uh, another area you can expand called definition and one of the commands here is called edits and if you select that and then right click with your mouse you'll get a whole series of uh, commands that you can carry out and one of them uh, third from the bottom is paste surface so select that and now I only have one other surface in the drawing so it knows that so it says well I'm obviously not going to paste the same surface into itself so it finds the other surface if you have more surfaces then you can pick and choose which ones you'll be doing the pasting with but in this case I'm going to pick volcano and you can also click this little navigation box in the up here right hand corner here and that'll actually let you go and pick a surface in the drawing but again this is very simple I only have one of the surface so I'm going to select volcano hit OK and I don't know if you can see it or not but like I, had, I mentioned it, the uh, the surfaces weren't at the same elevation where they come together which I think is very common and it automatically when it pasted it you can almost see the contours it created a little bit of a hill here but um, let's look at this in 2D I'm sorry 3D and uh, actually let's go back just to show you that it has been pasted because obviously uh, the volcano surface is still showing so what we'll do is we'll go to surface properties for volcano surface and we'll change the surface style to no display hit apply okay so right now the volcano surface isn't showing but you can see because it pasted that surface into the existing conditions that it, it, it shows up as being pasted and then let's just navigate let's switch the visual style to conceptual again and while it looks like what it looked like before it actually is because we've turned off the display of volcano it's one surface now it has pasted and you can almost I don't know how well it shows up on the video but you can see some of the edging where it had to blend the two surfaces together but it's now one is the underside of it. it is now one surface so that you can work with it so pretty uh, nice tool feature of AutoCAD Civil 3D is being able to take one surface and paste it into another and then have a you know revised surface that has the both of them uh, put together so this has been AutoCAD Civil 3D for land surveyors brought to you by me Eric Colburn from ericcolburn.com if you have any comments please leave them below and I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and if you're looking for additional land surveying and AutoCAD Civil 3D resources, please visit my website at ericcolburn.com. Thank you, work smart, and be brilliant.